long overdue, but we are finally now on YouTube. Some of you might know my name's Ellis, and I'm the Managing Director of Frontline Emergency Solutions in Manchester. We're a specialist emergency service conversion company. We look after blue light services, we convert vehicles like this one behind us, ambulances, fire appliances, all kinds of different emergency vehicles, and we're going to bring you some content on this YouTube channel. A lot of you have been asking for a very long time, but we've just not found the time to do it. Thankfully, we've had some help behind the scenes. So we're going to bring you now a lot of content on the YouTube channel, similar to what you've already seen on the TikToks and our other socials, but we're going to go a little bit more in depth. You'll get to see vehicles such as this one, which is used by a doctor's scheme, supporting the ambulance service at critical incidents and out in the sticks. These vehicles help the critical care doctors get to where they need to be and bring care into the right places. So what better vehicle to introduce on the channel than this stunning Volkswagen 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan R-Line. It's a very special car and it's something I've been working really hard on. We've had sponsorship from lots of different suppliers, everybody's got involved, everybody jumped on board. It started as a conversation, we needed to chuck some lights on a car for a charity scheme. A group of really intelligent people, doctors, specialist clinicians and paramedics that respond on their own time. Some of them in their own vehicles, some of them in scheme cars. These specialist clinicians respond out of hours in their own time, completely unpaid, it's voluntary, they supply all of their own equipment. So we thought, we have to do our part, we jumped on board and we built them this stunning response vehicle for their use. So as you can see we've really gone to town on the light and it's really important that these guys are safe when they're responding but also on scene. The system that we've used is provided by Standby RSG which is very popular in the UK. It allows the doctors, the clinicians to be able to control the system at the push of a button allowing them to focus on the road and what's important and getting their head in the game to deal with the situation that they're going to be faced with when they arrive on scene. This vehicle in particular is a lease vehicle, so at the end of its life it's going to have to be returned to a standard civilian spec vehicle and returned with no holes drilled, no light bar on the roof as you can see. We've used a magnetic pod mounted light which is going to help to keep this car in good state when it goes back. We've also managed to keep the front of the vehicle completely lease safe by utilising specialised adhesives, number plate lights built into rubber shrouds supplied by Redtronic which are really good for lease safe, damage free and hole free installation. So for high level forward facing lighting we've managed to secure some Infinity US6 window pods from Redtronic. These are really discreet lighting so the vehicles can be used out of hours to go and do general bits and bats that the responders might be doing and when the call comes in and when it really matters most they'll hit the blue lights and they'll be able to respond. This, these lights are fitted behind a sun strip that we've supplied that allows the lights to be, remain discreet and out of the eye from passers-by to easily recognise this is an emergency vehicle. It is an unmarked covert installation, so we're not trying to draw any unnecessary attention to the vehicle. So as you can see, the 360 degree blue light warning system is complemented fantastically by this Redtronic Tornado Micro Beacon. The Redtronic Tornado Beacon is removable from inside the car. We've added an auxiliary socket specially designed for this beacon. This is controlled via the 999 and key stage buttons on the control system, which means that you don't have to fiddle around turning individual functions on for the car. It's one touch system. The Redtronic Infinity BB4s fitted into these 90 degree window shrouds help with maintaining 360 degree protection for when the vehicle's coming through a junction or when it's parked at a scene at an angle, and also for when reversing out of a junction if under emergency response conditions. Now, fitted to the lower half of the vehicle, we've got the stunning VX31 multicolour modules from Retronic. These are really handy little units that we can program to flash in whatever colour we want. Depending on which mode is selected by the driver, whether it be 999, at scene or individual functions, these lights activate in different colours. We've got rear reds for at scene protection, green lights to identify the use of the vehicle and blue lights for responding. So, to provide some mid-level warning, without causing any damage to the bodywork and putting in surface mount lights, we've opted for the Star M1 by Redtronic, fitted nice and discreet light into the indicator module inside the rear tail light cluster. So, across the rear windscreen we've got a couple of different things going on. The whole product range is the Infinity US6 light head from Redtronic. Here you'll see it demonstrated in the window shroud. This is a 60 degree option which suits this vehicle nicely and allows us to mount the light heads in a discreet way and so as not to cause flashback in the cab of the vehicle which could dazzle the driver, bounce off the rear view mirror and cause distraction when responding. So in the centre of the windscreen we've fitted another Infiniti US6 in the same shroud but this one has been programmed to feature a steady burn, also known in the industry as a Gatso light which helps to identify that the vehicle was travelling on blue lights at the time that any speed camera activations or red light cameras might catch a picture of this vehicle claiming exemptions. Now, keeping with the US6 light head, again supplied by Redtronic, we've decided to utilise the SP2 number plate surround, which features two flashing LED US6 light heads. Anytime this vehicle is approaching through a junction, you've got really clear light output from the vehicle on the rear as well as the front. Another added benefit of fitting the light in this fashion is that it really does light up the rear of the vehicle, as you can see. The light 
reflects perfect light off the rear of this vehicle, lighting up a large area, which you simply couldn't achieve in a least safe fashion with any other products. So as you can see, when the rear tailgate is open, we lose that light output from those window pods. So we had to give something to offset the loss of those lights. We've used the Retronic ML4 dual color compact light head, which allows us to maintain some high level warning, which will shoot nice and far into the distance, which allows drivers approaching from the rear to see that this vehicle is at the scene of an emergency and to approach with caution. Now this is something we're seeing a lot more of in the UK, especially in lease safe and covert vehicles. We've actually used the vehicle's OEM lighting to flash red. Now these are the vehicle's own brake lights. We've used a sound off signal flasher to override the signal to the brake light, which allows us to flash the rear tail lights when the vehicle is on scene. This gives great light output without having to add any additional light in. We haven't had to drill any more holes or cause any damage to the vehicle to get this to be done. It can be stripped straight back to factory standard when the vehicle's at the end of its life without causing any damage or leaving any clues behind as to this vehicle's previous use. So keeping on with the BX series modules in multi-colour specification, we've added some grill lighting and some low level lighting. Now these are a mixture of BX31 modules and BX62 modules which are again supplied in the multicolour specification. This gives us the option to select from a range of different colours to suit a range of different purposes. In this example we show them in blue and green to identify that the vehicle is an emergency response vehicle and also that a doctor is travelling to an emergency. Back with the Infinity range, this again is an Infinity SP2 plate. It utilises the US6 modules from Redtronic and is a fantastic option for lease safe vehicles. You can see in this formation we've also opted for the forward facing light heads mounted into rubber shrouds. Now this is a fantastic product that's utilised across the country and is really good for options for lease safe vehicles but also vehicles with active shutter systems and electric vehicles where you just cannot mount to the grill or vehicles that don't have a grill at all. So as you can see in the lower grill we've got two siren speakers. Now this is part of a larger system. It's the fantastic new Euro Smart system from Haztec International. The guys over there have donated this equipment free of charge and the whole team has been really impressed with the setup. It's a four tone system controlled by the horn ring and activated by the 999 button on the control system. The system allows easy operation and selection of tones as well as being able to quickly cancel the tones in built up areas or where you no longer need siren tones present. The dual speaker setup really throws those tones out nice and far allowing members of the public miles down the road to know that there is an emergency vehicle coming. Now this control system is supplied by Standby RSG who are a really big competitor in the emergency service market across the country with some really reliable products, trusted kit and equipment that we've used time after time in a lot of our builds. Here you'll see the system shown with 999 arrive reset combo button which allows for fast activation of all the emergency warning equipment at the touch of a button. In 999 mode we automatically illuminate the front and rear blue lights, the white takedown lights fitted to the grill and in the window pods the 360 degree front and rear green lighting to identify that this vehicle is being used by an emergency doctor. We also arm the siren which gives the driver independent control of each siren tone via what we refer to as a horn ring transfer. Put simply this allows the driver of the vehicle to control the sound of the siren whether it's activated or deactivated by single or double touches of the vehicle's horn. We've chosen to control the siren via the vehicle horn for a couple of different reasons. One being standardisation, a lot of vehicles in the UK opt for this method. It allows drivers to get into different types of vehicles from different makes, models and manufacturers and different services and to know that they can respond by pressing the horn and activating the siren. The horn ring transfer setup also allows for two hands to be placed on the steering wheel and for simultaneous hands-free control over the siren and its tones. A single tap of the horn activates the siren. In this example you'll hear long tones first, then short tones, a two tone and what's referred to as a phaser. A single tap to activate the long tones. Each individual tap will then cycle the siren tone onto the next. Whether the siren tones are activated or not, a press and hold of the vehicle standard horn will activate the vehicle's horn as well as the bull horn. When responding at any one time, two taps of the horn will cancel the siren tones and the siren will remain armed ready for another single tap. Travelling through a pedestrianised area or where you no longer need the siren tones to be active, the vehicle can respond with its lights on and without the siren tones blaring. So when approaching a junction or where you may need audible warning from the vehicle, again you simply single tap the horn which will provide audible tones. By pressing the combo button twice, 
we put the vehicle into at scene mode. This gives us protection from 360 degrees by activating the front blues, the rear blues and the rear reds. Another handy feature that we have incorporated into this build is some interior lighting fitted to the tailgate area of the vehicle. This acts well as perimeter lighting. This makes it easier for the guys working at night to identify the equipment and the tools that they need to work safely on scene at night. So when the job's done and it's time to go home, pressing the combo button again resets the system, places everything into standby and turns all of the light heads and warning equipment off, allowing the driver to return under normal road conditions back to their station, base or home address. So as you can see in the load area of the vehicle we fitted a couple of different products into the rear for load area illumination. This is bright white light which allows the doctors or the paramedics that are using the vehicle to easily identify their equipment and kit bags at the scene of an emergency at night. We've gone for a flood and spot combo giving flood light on the lower portion to illuminate the whole load area with the additional spotlights at high level to illuminate a bigger area and also to help with perimeter scene lighting. There's never really an easy way to showcase these control systems without getting yourself in some pretty cramped spaces. Nevertheless, we'll do our best. As you can see in the rear, we've got a control board featuring a couple of different bits of equipment that we'll talk through and touch on briefly. Again, with this being a least safe vehicle, we've constructed a temporary timber frame construction which will hold a raised floor, allowing us to fit the control system and maintain as much boot space as physically possible without affecting the car's end of life resale value or causing any unnecessary damage. So this might surprise a lot of you guys how compact this siren amplifier is. Now compared to some of the other products on the market this really is a nice compact alternative. Really good for culvert vehicles or where space is at a premium. The Euro Smart system is very easy to install. It only requires a single battery feed, an activation feed, a home ring transfer feed and the cables for your single or double speaker setup. These two modules form part of our control system. These are the load switching modules which are part of the MCS range by Standby RSG. Now these clever little bits of equipment use solid state switching, minimising the need for individual fusing for outgoing circuits which reduces installation time and minimises repair time. This small fuse board gives us independent fusing from the battery. So we have three fuses here, one fuse for the Haztec Euro Smart Siren system and two fuses, one of each for the MCS range system. Utilising a MIDI fuse carrier, the whole system is protected by a 40 amp feed from the battery which is fused locally, both at the battery terminal and at the control point. Now this solid state flasher unit, supplied by sound off signal, is a really good alternative to some more traditional methods of flashers. In times gone by, you'll have heard relays clicking away which controls the flashing left and right, especially in old headlamp flash modules. With this being a solid state switching unit, you don't get any noise into the cab, you would never know that this was activated. Now these flash units and sound off signal feature a selection of different flash patterns. They can also be synchronised with each other to provide full vehicle synchronisation for light heads, brake lights, headlamps, fog lamps or standalone LED light heads. So here we've used a terminal block to tie in all of our synchronisation points from across the vehicle. All of the light head synchronisation cables come back to this central point where they are connected together. This allows us to use a standard relay to enable cruise mode by switching these cables to ground which gives a low power cruise steady burn. Our common ground terminal allows us to bring control system, siren and light head circuits back to one common point which allows for easy maintenance and reduced repair times. So this vehicle was converted by the team completely free of charge and it wouldn't have been possible without brilliant donations and discount from our trusted suppliers. But remember, it's not just vehicle conversions, we also buy and sell tons of new and used equipment. If you see something you like, or you need something you want, drop us over an email to sales. Details are in the description, you can check out our website for details on how to contact us. Give, us, give the office a call. From current emergency service vehicles, private responders and heritage vehicles, TV and the film industry, we supply tons of clients across the country and overseas. It's also important not to forget videos like this take time, they take energy, they take money. So to ensure that we're bringing the best content possible, we need you guys to engage. We need likes, comments, subscriptions. If there's something that you want to see, if there's a question you want to ask, get it in the comments. We'll do personal reply videos, we'll do walkthroughs, tutorials, how-tos, and answer any questions that you might have. If there's a specific vehicle or a specific setup that you'd like to see, let us know. We'll try our best. If you've got a lighting installation that you need and you'd like it to feature on our YouTube channel, drop us an email over, we'll build a price, we'll build a package and we'll get you on the YouTube channel. Now as a lot of you guys will know from our other social media accounts, the TikTok, the Instagram, we like to do a giveaway. The giveaways are only getting bigger and they're definitely getting better on YouTube. 
So to be in with a chance to win, make sure you subscribe for the latest notifications from the workshop, installation tutorials, how-to guides, walk-arounds and in-depth tours of our emergency vehicle conversions. And to answer any questions that you guys might have, make sure you're subscribed, like the videos, comment below on what you want to see and we'll make it happen. So I just want to take this opportunity to give a massive shout out to all the sponsors for this build. Haztec International, Standby RS Sheet, of course Redtronic with a massive donation of lighting equipment, VSWD and everybody that chipped in and got involved and made this vehicle so special. Of course we would never have needed to do any of this if it weren't for the determination and the courage of the basic scheme responders, Beep Doctors, again massive shout out for these guys, what they do is absolutely fantastic, in their own time, in their own cars, they go out when you need them most, so make sure you give them a follow where you can, donate if you can, and as always, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and we can't wait to see you on the next one.